Hello RPG Makers, Companion Wolf here. In this video I'm showcasing my social media button plugin which has been updated recently and I'll be demonstrating how to set it up and use it in your games. Once you've installed the plugin I'm not going to go into details on that. There are plenty of tutorials showing how to install the plugins. So in the plugin manager it will be called CW social media buttons and I'll put the links where you can download the plugin in the description. There are five buttons for Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube and the website. Each of these can be toggled on or off in their respective parameters depending which ones you want. The first one is Twitter. So for the show, Twitter, and the same way applies to each of these. You can turn it on or off. You can also use true, false, enable, disable, yes, no, or show and hide for these parameters. The Twitter action is the action or behavior type of the Twitter button. You have screen name, user ID or follow as the options. This is used in conjunction with the next parameter, Twitter account, which I'll go through shortly. Screen name is the name of the Twitter account you'd like players to visit. User ID is the unique identifier associated with your Twitter account. Um, to find it, log into your Twitter and go under profile settings and in the left hand side it would be your Twitter data most likely you'll need to enter your password because this is a secure area and then when it's loaded your unique user ID will be under your username. This is what you would then copy into the Twitter account parameter. Um, alternatively, you can go to Twitter Twitter ID and type in your username or your at handle and convert and then you'll have the same number here. If you use follow in the Twitter action, this will allow players to follow you on Twitter directly from within MV. It doesn't matter if you use your Twitter username or ID in the Twitter account parameter when you're using follow because it'll auto detect which one to use and will lead you to the same place anyway. So the Twitter account, as I mentioned previously, is where you would put your username or your ID, which is the reference for all actions in the Twitter account. Um, I set it to screen name. Then this would be companion wolf. And it would load up. The other ones are um, obviously if you have um, user ID in the Twitter action or follow, you can put your um, user ID here, the number. Note that since usernames can change often, it's probably best to use the user ID here. User IDs stay the same, so even if you change your username a dozen times using the this number will always go directly to your tweets correctly. A quick final note, you can only use this number with user ID or follow. If you use it when the Twitter action is set to screen name, you'll get a 404 error because this user doesn't exist unless 
there just happens to be someone with a username exactly the same as your user ID. It happens. Next is Facebook. Again, toggle it on or off, enable, disable, etc. When you go to your page, the name of the page is highlighted here. This would be the name of the page and this is the part that you would copy into the Facebook page name parameter. With Google Plus you have two options Google Plus name and ID. In most cases your page or profile name is preceded by a plus sign. Mine is RPG Maker times info there so I'd put a plus before it in this option. Alternatively my main profile is companion wolf. You must include this plus sign otherwise it'll give um, a page not found error. The other option is the ID number which is a unique 21 digit number leading to your page or profile. To find it click on the profile icon and whatever page you use you click on the page this is the number here that you will look, use so you copy that and then you can paste it in here and it will lead directly to that page in most cases your page or profile name has already been set up with the plus sign identifier due to some updates Google Plus made a while back and so using the plus ID is much easier than this one. Either way whether it's your profile or your page you would use the plus identifier and it'll do the same. Now for YouTube again you can turn it on or off the YouTube action parameter has a use for user, channel, video or playlist. Um, user is the name of your main profile. Mine is Fearwolf, so when I would go to YouTube Fearwolf, it will automatically go to my page and it would be this part here obviously that you would need. Um, channel is the reference number of your video channel. What I would do is click on my channel and this part is what you'll need for the parameter for the YouTube account. For video it's pretty much the same except you're gonna watch a video. Let's choose one at random. Something appropriate for RPG Maker. And what we actually need is this reference here. It's uh, uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers. Or you can get the same from share, which would be this bit here. So we would copy that and then that's what we'd paste in the YouTube account. If you have any playlists, this setting would be playlist. So in my case, we would go for, click on the channel name, and after playlist here, this is what we need. 
quite a long and unique identifier but the part you want is actually only this bit here and again that one would be copied and pasted the YouTube account is where you paste the parts of the URL for example um, as I've previously mentioned if I wanted to share a specific video then I'd set YouTube action to video and paste the video's ID number so that when the YouTube button is clicked it'll go directly to that page for the video. The next is the website. Again, you can toggle it on or off. Um, the website URL is the full address you want the players to visit. Display method sets whether, whether you want the button links to open in a separate window or in the default browser. The final part is for the buttons themselves. You'll need to import them into pic the pictures folder. They can be any size, but I'd recommend 32 by 32. List all of the icons that you're using in the icons parameter separated by commas. These are the names of the files you save them as. The order is Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, and the website they'll be displayed in that order but if you disable any of them like for toggling them on or off in their parameters the icons will dynamically display in the bottom right hand screen now I'm going to go back to the defaults and then when we play test it So all of the icons will then be listed at the bottom right hand of the screen. And the Twitter will go straight to my Twitter page. Facebook goes to the RPG Maker Times page. Some of these, um, sometimes they will, it will take a little while to um, open or to, to load and again this is a Google Plus one which goes di directly to the RPG Maker Times page there uh, YouTube will go directly to my uh, I think it's my channel my main profile Yeah, there you go. You can also sign in and view the videos. It's only lagging here because my computer, I got too many things open. And then the final one is the website itself, uh, which hasn't been updated for a while, so I got to do that. Let's um, <coughs> this should be the number. So it'll open up automatically detect and you can log in and follow and as a bonus I added a command that allows you to display a website from an event say if you read a billboard you can go straight to a website instead of displaying a picture or whatever um, so create a new event
and then it would be under plugin command you type in show URL and then the address RPG maker times info. Make sure that this is the full address, including the HTTP or HTTPS bit. And change the graphic to, I don't know, random one. So when it's now play tested, you can speak to the dude. And it should open up. It'll actually open up in the window or in the browser itself, depending on what you set in the display method. And that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you'll find it a useful reference if you use my social media buttons plugin. But before I end this video, I'd like to mention that someone encountered an error message when using this plugin, actually a previous version. And as of now, even after all this time, it still remains unresolved, at least as far as I'm aware. I've tested this with a number of plugins, including Yanflies, and haven't been able to reproduce this said error at all. The only ones I'm aware of that give any error messages are Shaz's Helon Level Up plugin, which I ascertained has to do with the plugin itself, and Yanfly's external link plugin, which conflicts somewhat with my routine for opening URLs. Um, so it's a case of like, if you wanted to use Yanfly's, then use that one, but if you wanted to use mine, then you can still use the social media buttons, just don't use the um, website link. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this tutorial. Give it a like if you found it uh, useful and subscribe to my channel for notifications of when I upload new videos, either RPG Maker or Smile Game Builder. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Until the next